Hey, Key, I can ask you a question, bro. And when I ask you this question, bro, just be honest with me, bro. You think my old lady cheating on me? Oh, nah. Y'all already know what time it is. Say, check me out. That's none of my business. That's none of my business. <laughs> hey, I had to hit it. Can you think my girl cheating on me? That's none of my business. That's none of my business. Oh, now. Y'all already know what time it is. Say, check me out, man. Before I start my story, bro. Y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification. So anytime I drop video, you'll be notified. ASAP Rocky, you can hop on, you feel me? We kicking and we can vibe. Make sure you hitting that bell to all, man. All, you hear me? Now, when you kicking it with your homeboy, your homegirl, your peoples, whatever you call them, you know what I'm saying? Depending on how long you've known this person, you will be close to this person, right? Vital information will be shared between you and this person, right? I'm talking about somebody who... I'm talking about somebody who... This person then, 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 then y'all then uh uh slept on each other couches and shit. You feel me? You done made a pallet with this person. You feel me? You done fucked around and put put the uh the the uh blankets on top of the fans and made like a little fort. You feel me? Y'all done woke up early in the morning, ate the cereal, the frosted flakes with the sugar and shit. Your mama then woke y'all up for church. That's your partner. That's your dog. That's your hunger. Whoever it is to you. You feel me? Y'all done share vital information to each other. So some things was good. Some things was bad. Some things embarrassing. Some things you hope that person never tells anybody in life. All right? Now, within that person, you confide in them a lot. You end up telling that person things that nobody else knows about you. That's your dog. Right? I had a kinfolk. Right? And what what should I call him? I'm going to just call him P. Now, P was a cool-ass dude. P was a black dude, you know what I'm saying? He was a real skin-ass dude. P was like my age, but he was like a little younger than me, a couple months younger than me, you know what I'm saying? P cool as fuck, you know what I'm saying? But P was real soft-spoken, right? P was real soft-spoken. And, like, he, he didn't, like, he didn't stick up for himself in certain situations, like, I'd be around P and something would pop off. And I'm like, damn, P, you just gonna let that shit slide? Man, it is what it is, bro. I ain't tripping off none of that, bro. P favorite line was, shit, they ain't getting no money. That was P favorite line. Like, anything pop off, bro. Somebody trying to press him, whatever came in BP. Like, man, I ain't standing off none of that shit, bro. Y'all just not getting no money. You know what I'm saying? P was a getting money ass dude, but he, like, was real soft spoken. And, like, he ain't like to stick up for himself. All he liked to say was, y'all ain't getting no money. Okay. One day, me and P cooler. I go over there, you know what I'm saying? I had already knew P.O. Lady. Me and P.O. Lady was cool before uh, her and P got together. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm low-key the reason her and P got together. You know, but you know, like, sometimes you don't see certain things until, you know, it's time to see it. And you be like, man, that kind of shocked me, didn't it? So, I go over there, me and Pete, you know what I'm saying? We cooling with, like, you know what I'm saying? His old lady in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Either she was cooking or she was, like, making, like, some Kool-Aid or something. She was doing something in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? So, be like, hey, bitch, you trying to go to the back and smoke? I'm like, hey, yeah, go, you know what I'm saying? Let's handle that. So, me and Pete go to the back, we smoke. And his old lady, you like, and you bet not smoke the whole thing. Now, in my mind, I'm like, damn, she kind of, she kind of said that aggressive, Pete, like, what the? You know what I'm saying? And like this is kind of like around like the first time that I really seen what I want what I'm about to talk about, right? So we go over there, you know what I'm saying? She tell him, you better not smoke at all. So I'm like, what's wrong? And P like, man, chill out with all that, bro. I ain't nobody stunting on that, you know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. So we're going to the back, you know what I'm saying? We rolling up, woo -woo -woo, smoking. As we smoking, she had got done doing what she was doing in the kitchen. She came in there and she came in there and kicked with us. Now we all smoking. P he didn't have kids, like they didn't have kids, you know what I'm saying? So they, this house is just to themselves, you know what I'm saying? So I'm over there. We just smoking, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm kind of somewhat watching her because of how she said, and you bet not, and you bet not smoke it all. Like, now, when somebody says something like that to you, and you bet not do it. Like, nine times out of ten, that's your mama, your daddy, or your auntie. Somebody who got a little bit of authority over you, you know, for your partner to tell you and you bet not do this in that type of way something ain't right you know what i'm saying i wouldn't care if you was the man or the woman something ain't right for your partner to be coming at you like that right 
We said, now we blowing down. And she was like, hand it to me. You know, she ain't say, babe, can you hand it to me? None of that. She handed it to me. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? So he he hit it. He hit it. She said, I ain't say hit it. I said, hand it to me. And so he's like, oh, you aggressive today. That's what he's saying. And in my mind, I'm like, a little bit too aggressive. You feel me? P, like, you know, I'm not going to put the key in your back, P. But if you need me to put the key in your back right now, you need to turn that motherfucker, you feel me? So, he ended up passing the tour, you know what I'm saying? And as all is going on, P. Partner ended up hitting him up, right? And I'm going to call P. Partner R. 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 I knew R a little bit, but I ain't really mess with him because I ain't go to school with R. I ain't really know R like that. I just knew R through P, right? So, now, R like, hey, bitch, what you got going? P like, man, I'm cool at the crib. What you got going? He like, nothing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I can slide through. I got I got a sack. He like, yeah, bet. So, you know, we sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody conversating. You know, uh, P.O. lady get up. She go in the kitchen. You know, she asks us, do we want something to drink? I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, you know, I'm thirsty, whatever. I get something to drink. You know, she bring me and peace on the drink. Now, as time go on, we get a knock at the door, right? Who is it? Hey, it's all. R come in the womb. When R comes in the door, it seems like things changed quickly. Because at first, P. O. Lady was wearing like this, like, like this, like you know, like one of them thin ass coats that go all the way down to your ankles and shit. You know, one of those. She had like one of those on with like some motherfucking uh pajama pants or something, bro. I don't know, but it wasn't like cold in the house. You feel me? She was covered up. And then folk come over and then she went and changed. Now she in like these like boy shorts type. You know what I'm saying? She in like these little boy shorts. She got like this shirt on that's kind of revealing. But she still, she still got the long coat on though. Right? But like, but like you could see everything. You hear me? So I'm peeping. I'm like, damn, she want to change. Like, P see it too, but he don't say nothing. Okay. R get over there. We kicking it. You know what I'm saying? And she go to ask R. She say, how was your day today? I ain't we, I ain't seen you in a while. And R was like, man, I was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Got off work or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So as she asking him these questions, I'm noticing she's smiling a little too hard at what he be saying. And then every time... Or go to crack a joke or say some shit. She up here laughing as if we ain't got damn me comedy jam or something. She up in this be acting like Bernie Mac telling jokes or something. I'm like, you doing too much. That's how I'm feeling. And you ain't even my old lady. So once again, that's none of my business. That's none of my business. I'm just peeping game on the situation, right? So as the time, as time starts to go on a little bit. I'm noticing that she disrespecting P a little bit more now that R is there, right? Calling him a little boy, telling me he needs to get in the gym and work out a little bit more. But she doing it to where it's like, it's so subtle. It's so, it's so innocent to where it's like, he just taking it on the chin. But I would have already been mad because I would have already been looking at it like, what you got going, bro? You feel me? So, Art get up, and he like, I got to go to the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got something to drink. And she like, yeah, something to drink in the kitchen. Go get you something, right? So, Art get up, boom. He go in the kitchen, go get him something to drink. Right when Art gets up, she like, oh, uh. She like, oh, uh, I'm finna go get me a refill, too. Does anybody else need anything, right? Now, when she hit us with the, does anybody else need anything, I felt like that was a rock you to sleep type bad moment. Right? So we like, nah, we good. You know what I'm saying? We still blowing down or whatever in the back. So she gets up, boom, and then they both now in the kitchen area, right? About five minutes passed by, bro, and still now one of these people came back, right? Five minutes might not be a long time to you, right? And with, you know, and if you trust your old lady, you know what I'm saying? Her and your homeboy in the house while everybody outside you know, five minutes, you know, you'll be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Man, they can't do nothing in five minutes. Bullshit. Bullshit. All right. Now, oh, this that ain't looking too good. You know what I'm talking? Now, five minutes go by, and my, my, 
my senses is going off. But I, I, uh, I, but what are it? Oh, he probably still in the kitchen doing something, bro. He always he did 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 what P say, man. He always be sitting up there. He'll drink a cup of Kool Aid, bro, and then he'll pull him up another cup and just be sitting there with the refrigerator door open, like in his house. And he started laughing. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, that ain't that ain't nothing to laugh about, my nigga. You feel? So I'm like, oh, I was, I was asking, because you know they've been in there for a little minute. He's like, yeah, they have been a little minute. Let me go check on them. Let me go check on them. So when he go and check on them, they both in the kitchen just talking. That's what he say. He said, man, I was just one of you know, they just in the kitchen talking. But he go in there check on them. He's like, I was just checking on your baby and they came back. And they still in the kitchen talking. About two minutes later, they come back in. She giggling and shit, right? She giggling and shit. And he gave me the vibe. You know how it is from a guy. A guy or a woman can feel like this. You ever been in a situation where you messing with Somebody you know, old lady, but they don't know, so you got that real cocky, confident feeling about yourself. Like, hey, you know what I mean? Shit, anytime, you know what I'm saying? Please don't let you then already knock them down because now you're looking at, at, at the person who in a relationship with you, like, Shh, why you just don't know why? Why you, hey, why you just don't even know why I'm, why I'm punching your old lady down, boy? Why she 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 tell me every night I hit it? Why she tell me why you don't do it like I do it? Why? You feel me? You'll feel a you'll feel like like you'll feel a different type of way. I, I promise you, bro. You gonna walk and talk different around that person. I promise you, bro. I didn't been in that situation. So so those are the vibes I'm getting from Kim Fook and O'Girl. But I'm not saying nothing to P because it's like even though that's my dog, my mind state was P see this, he see it. So a little bit of time go by, right? P and them always had like a little get togethers at their house. They always wanted to have a little get together. We'd go over there, we kick it, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, woo, woo. you know what I'm saying? I used to go over there in the morning time. Sometimes I go over there at night time. I go if I if I got out work, you know what I'm saying? We'll go kick it with P. I go kick it with P. You know what I'm saying? So it was just it was just cool. You know what I'm saying? It was just cool. So one day I go over there, you know what I'm saying? P was like, hey, bit, get some balls, or whatever. We gonna blow down. I'm like, bet, get the balls or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I already hear all in the background. I hear him with his little notches at making his little jokes. And of course I hear P.O. laying in the background laughing. He said, hey bro, I asked you a question, Key. I said, what's that in the bed? He step out, he step out real quick. Man, uh, man, you think my old lady cheating on me, bro? Man, uh, that's none of my business. That's none of my business. That's what I wanted to tell him. But as a homeboy, as somebody who, you know, like I really rock with P the long way, bro. I was like, man, look, bro, I don't know. But let me ask you something. How you feeling? Why you asking me this, right? He like, man, cause like every time all come over here, bro. And like as he started saying, I'm like, okay, now we getting somewhere. Now we getting somewhere. Every time all come over, bro, like it's just like so it just some up be up with him, bro. And it just be some up with her like every time, bro. Like I just be feeling it. I say, so you think like her and all like messing around? He said, I don't know, bro. I don't want to make assumptions because that's my dog, you know. But it's like, I think like her and all messing around, man. Like, you know, behind my back, he, he like, man, I, I never do all like that. I say, I know, Kim, for I know. I say, look, you know, if you feeling like that, you know, like that gut feeling the motherfucker, you feel me? I say, man, look. You know what I'm saying? Pray about it. You know what I'm saying? And then just start, just start observing, bro. And just start observing it. Whatever you see, that's what that's what it is. He like, all right, all right. So I go over there, right? Now me and him was just on the phone. He was talking. He told me about all this. Now I'm thinking in my mind, like, all right, bet, right? Now my boy P, and now he on beat. My boy P on beat. You feel me? Now I'm looking at him like, I bet you noticing what I'm noticing. Cool. I get over there and it's the same shit. Okay. It's the same shit. And, but now she noticing that P noticing. She noticing. Okay. What she do though? She pulling real slick as she starting to tone it down. And when she starts to tone it down, R starts to realize it. All right. I'm realizing it too. But they not realizing that I'm peeping game on the whole situation, right? So I kind of flipped the subject about whatever we was talking about. And then we carry on about our day, right? 
That next day, P hit me up. Hey, babe, I come scoop you. You good? Hey, babe, I come scoop you. Say, so listen, bet. He didn't even have to explain nothing. Anybody know when your partner say, hey, I come scoop you. And he be like, Bill, what's going on? What's going on? I can come scoop you. Like ASAP. No more questions asked. Say list. Come on. Come scoop me. No, no questions asked. Come scoop me. For real. Come on, bitch. He pull up on me. Hey, bro. What's happening? Man, you know I had went through a phone or whatever. I say he went through the phone, and as he going through the phone, the message is just ah, 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 ah. right. She telling P, I mean, she telling R, she love P, but she just ain't happy with him. All putting on game, telling her basically like, look, come be with me, come mess with me. You know what I'm saying? He found out they've been messing with each other for a while. For a while. Right? The text message said, look, you know what I'm saying? We're going to meet at such and such place at this hotel at such and such time. We are whopping a third. Now, I could see in his face P mad. But I ain't never seen P like this. Remind y'all, P was always on some shit like, he ain't making no money. That was P demeanor. When somebody who mad, when somebody who, when somebody who real low key, that's what I meant to say instead of when somebody mad. When somebody real low key, when somebody real quiet, they don't do too much talking. You know what I'm saying? Real nonchalant. They just cool now. You would take that person as being weak. You'll take that person as being scary. Like you could just do that boy or something. But then be the people you really gotta watch. Cause it be them scared ones that do something that shock the whole world every time. And P was that guy that shocked the world. For real, for real. So we pull up. I'm like, what's happening, bitch? He running down to me. Everything. And he started crying and shit. But these are like tears of like pain. Like he, he hurt. P hurt right now. So I'm like, what you what you what you trying to do? Man? Like, what's happening? Like what man, what the lick read? Like, what we doing? And he like, I don't know yet. But his hands shaking, P hands shaking. So I know, like, okay, this one of the moments where it's like P could crash out and with me being with P. You feel me? I ain't gonna like rat out. I ain't gonna rat P out or no shit like that. You know? Hell, I might want to give me some licks in too. But with me being involved, I know I'm gonna go down with P. And at this point in time, I'm thinking to myself, fuck it. That my dog. Like, whatever situation he going through, fuck, we just gonna go through it together. But at the end of the day, I need to try to figure out how to get us out of this situation too. Right? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm going to rock out with you, Pete. But at the same time, I need to figure out how to get us out about this situation. Not just me. You too. You know what I'm saying? Because Pete's a good dude. He's just sitting there. He rocking back and forth, bro. He like, when I see him, I'm going to break his shit. I'm like, I'm already knowing because that was your dog. That was your dog. You know what I'm saying? Time passed, bro. Probably like, Five, ten minutes pass by. We ain't even go in the hotel. We outside smoking. <laughs> Me and P outside smoking. And it went from him being mad to him started laughing. P started laughing out of nowhere. I'm like, what's happening, bitch? He like, you know what's funny, bro? I said, what's up? He said, man, I'm mad, bro. He said, I'm hot and I'm mad by the female who don't even care for me. 
I'm hot and I'm mad about a dude who I thought was my kinfolk, a dude who I thought was my dog. You know what I'm saying? Somebody I thought was my round. You feel me? The whole time he was a snake. He say, and, and, and I'm sitting up here about to do something crazy over people who ain't even got my best intention in like he. He said, I'm finna throw my life down the drain for people who ain't even got my best in attention and like he, 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 he laughing though. He said, man, I'm about to crash out, bro. He said, but you know what? Man, let's just go home, bro. They can have that. So I'm like, damn. All right. In my mind, I'm thinking like, it gotta be something else to this. Cause like, why would PJ like let that slide? This ain't hockey. We're not just letting that shit slide. Two weeks passed by, bro. P and his old lady were living together. Right? P ended up getting him an apartment. Okay? They end up, they end up like, like, nah, matter of fact, he ended up getting an apartment on some slick shit. Right? P ain't say nothing. Got his apartment. P and I'm getting some furniture in that bit. He called me over there one day. He called me over there one day. Mm. Man, what, the, what is this? In my new apartment, bitch. New apartment? What in the fuck? You, P, what we do? Okay. I said, what's up with you in the house? And you and you like, yay. Man, I baked the cake on that one. You baked the cake? <laughs> I'm listening. P said, man. I was tired of being played and hurt, Keith. Everybody thinking they could just run over me. I said, but you know what? I did a little something. Elaborate, man. When I was around you, Keith, we were smoking. I cried a little bit. And we laughed. And I thought about a whole bunch of things. I said, peace, I'm a good looking guy, bro. I ain't deserve it. I say, right, right, right. I say, get what though? So what's that? Man, I knew her little sister. I said, okay. He said, her little sister had a best friend that always used to kick it around P.O. lady and her little sister. He said, the best friend was way better than my little yeah before. He say, this motherfucker, this motherfucker then went to college, got a degree, you know what I'm saying? She got her own place, her own car, like she, she, she's stable, you know what I'm saying? He just, he just running it to me, right? He said, you know, after all that happened, man, like, her little sister ended up finding out. And her and her best friend were talking. The best friend told her little sister to give, give P, give her the P number. He said, man, I'm just sitting there one day, bro, and I don't know where I get a call. So I picked that bitch up, bro, and it changed me. Right? This was like like two weeks after he found out about everything that happened over here with, with his homeboy R. And, and he like, yeah. He said, bro, like, we was just talking and shit. And, you know, she was just like, you know, like, just get on your feet. Just get on your shit and hustle and grind, do you? She said, you deserve way better than that. And he said, yeah, he hit different, Key. He hit different. I said, oh, for real? He said, yeah, he said, so, man, I fucked around and went on a date with a bro. And, you know, after the date, we ended up, you know what I'm saying, like, having sex. He was like, I ain't never, like, felt that before, Key. He was like, it was like, it was like, uh, motherfucking, uh, fireworks. I said, bro, that's what's up, bro. You know what I'm saying? He said, you know what's even more crazy, bro? Old girl found out about it. You like, yeah? Why she gonna hit me up talking about, I wanna be back with you, I'm sorry. What? He said, yeah, bro. And you know what else crazy? I said, what's up? He said, man, her and all, they ain't together, but you might as well say they're together, right? Why she told me all putting his hands on him? He abusive. I say, damn, that's crazy, bro. But let me get this right. You the good guy. 
your old lady was already on some disrespectful shit. But the reason I felt like she was disrespectful to my boy P is because she didn't respect him. Right? R comes in the picture. Okay? Everything R do, you loving it. As if you want him to be your man. I'm peeping game on it. Right? My boy P come to me and he tell me about it. P found all this stuff in his old lady's phone. He want to smash him and his old lady. Pause. But instead of that, God was working and told P, I got something better than that. And he did. P and the girl that he met with, with from uh, old girl little sister, they end up getting married. They end up getting married. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't talked to them in a while, but they end up getting married. Like, they, they, they good. You know what I'm saying? Or, I ain't, I ain't seen her in a long ass time. Even old girl, too. You know what I'm saying? Last I seen her, she was not looking too good. But it's crazy how, like, motherfuckers try to take advantage of you. Motherfuckers think it should be sweet. And you will crack, you will want to crash out. But that, that, that split second of, you know what? I'm going to put it in God's hand. That's crazy. This whole time, I'm sitting there thinking. P was a pushover. P let anybody do what they want to do to him. Shit, P was standing on business. Look, man, we'll ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now, man, I appreciate everybody who's been rocking my videos, man. I appreciate everybody who's been just, just, man, who really just been supporting the kids, you know what I'm saying? Me and my, uh, me and my Ken for Rocket, man, I was playing a game with him yesterday, and Rocket said, man, man, boy, Big Four, stay lying, huh, kid? Big Four was lying, huh? I'm like, man, who you talking about? Who big folk? He's like, big folk, bro. Big folk. Big folk, little folk. I said, boy, you hell, man. Just got to run in it down. He said, man, I be watching your videos, bro. He said, I be watching your videos, man. I be tapped in on the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? He said, I don't, I don't do the social media, so I be watching YouTube a lot. He said, I be watching your videos, bro. And it just give me that, like, yeah. You feel me? I end up seeing my, my wife's brother. The other day, and I ain't seen him in a long time. And even though I only been down here five, going on six years, I kind of low key seen him grow up on some shit. You feel me? And when I seen him uh, at his job, because you know they had him and his brother end up, you know, going back to live with his mom. And when I seen him, you know, I was like, damn, man, I was gonna shake his hand, but he ended up giving me a hug. You know, I immediately pulled his phone out and and typed in my YouTube, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and made sure I hit that bell notification all, so anytime I drop a video, he'll see it, you know what I'm saying, and, like, it be things like that, it's like, damn, like, that's why I do certain things, that's why, that's why I do the YouTube, that's why I uh, like to, to speak, you know what I'm saying, I'm not here to try to change the whole world, you know what I'm saying, I'm really just here to give uh, awareness to certain things, you know what I'm saying, either, either if it was funny, if, either if it was uh, about kids, women, you know what I'm saying, you talking about a man or something, or, uh, you know what I'm saying, relationship problem, or whatever the case may be. Like, I didn't, I didn't been through so much at a young age, and there's so much more to grow from and learn from that I feel like, you know, it's my duty to speak on these things because people can go through something in life, you know what I'm saying, and then see you bumping your head, and instead of them being like, say young, and let me holler at you, or say young buck, let me holler at you, you know what I'm saying, don't do that, you know what I'm saying, do this, that's why you keep bumping your head, because you're doing that, but this is how you fix it, instead of people saying that, a lot of people just sit back and look at you, keep doing it, and then they'll be sitting there with their homeboy calling you dumb, because you doing the same thing that they was doing, but somebody helped them to get out of that situation, but instead of them helping you, they look at you and call you dumb because you doing what they was doing way back in the day. That's why I do this so when people can listen to my, my stories and my message, they'll be like, damn, okay, like I understand what Kimfo was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I want I want y'all to be understand. I want y'all to be like to feel it. Like if you were sitting right here next to me, or is if like you was 
in a movie theater while I'm talking or, you know what I'm saying? You lived it with me while I was in it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. That's, I want y'all to be able to be like, damn, like, look at that boy. He's it. For real, for real. And I ain't no capping my rap, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to lie about nothing. I ain't got to be like, oh, yeah, because of this or, ooh, I did this. Nah, it ain't, I don't have to lie about nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain things that's embarrassing. There's certain things that's like, damn, for real, yeah. I'm just keeping it a bean, dog.